We're just gonna play the game and then we'll worry about what endless is later. Achievement unlocked. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. Okay, I think I'm gonna change the dialogue to instant. <laughs> the text speed, the instant, but we'll see. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. If I hit the escape key, can I change it? No. Dang it. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. See, I told you y'all were gonna like this. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Tuesday, September 22nd. Yeah, we got to go with the instant tech speed so that I can just read it instead of going. <laughs> Sorry. Well, oh, it's you. OK, so I'm, I'm the one talking. All right. Hey, traders, how's the night so far? That's so Freya. It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. Oh, well, what happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. <laughs> that's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Got another bug I just killed there. <laughs> right, sorry about that. Hey, writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... What plan? Ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you, for and if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? 
Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. <laughs> okay, let's check our phone. The brew pad. So, blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Coffee, coffee, and coffee. Okay. So, coffee, coffee, and coffee. Warm and bitter brew. Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. That aroma. I, man, I am a coffee drinker. I love coffee. Exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Oh, yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. Can't stand the flavor? I know some people like that. You love the smell but can't stand it? No. I know, I know, I have a few friends like that. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What did you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yes, yeah, an elevator pitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, it was such a stupid thing to do. So how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the friction, uh, fiction publishing division <laughs> to sign me up for a publishing deal. Nice. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad, well, after reading it... I decided to just delete everything immediately. So, zero. Ugh, yes. I really need to finish it at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. 
I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of best, my best short stories here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I mean, I don't think she's going to want to take her cot. Well, you could take it to go. I mean, you could. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather, heck yeah. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please? Well, we definitely have... Is that the only chocolate? Yeah, dark chocolate. So chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> cocoa powder, cocoa powder, cocoa powder. Sweet, cool, and bitter. Serve it. One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. So warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Yeah. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. <laughs> yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. Yeah, it's the same, same reason why I like streaming. I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Look at her laughing. <laughs> That's a secret. The traders here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it, traders can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So, uh, you still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night? That's good to hear. Oh, was it a question? I, I phrased it like a question, but it wasn't. By the way, are you a regular here? I really don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. I don't even know what to write about. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. 
Would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on top of it. <laughs> bitter with milk. Probably... So it's probably going to be a cappuccino, right? Let's see, if we do coffee, milk, milk, that's a little bitter, but what if I did coffee, coffee, milk? Oh, that's very bitter. Yeah, so he's gonna go, he's gonna want a cappuccino. Latte art. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Latte art? That's cute. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, here's the rain. There's the rain, yeah. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh, yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh, my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Tratus. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and an illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? <laughs> the only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. That's right. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where, you, where are you going to write? In fact, I am going to change my title to... <laughs> That's right. Your friendly... Neighborhood Barista.
Oh, not far. Forgot. Forgot to. There we go. Just over at the table in the corner. Oh, and you know what? I, I'm so sorry for tabbing out uh, more than once. Uh, it's, it's making sure all of this is working here on the side and then, just over at the table. Next to the window. So I don't even have to click on this. That's my spot. Oh, OK. Have fun. Eh. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Can I pull up my phone? Toto Mochi something. So Freya, birthday January 29th, writer for the Evening Whispers, talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. We are friends and close friend, friends only, close friend. I don't know what any of this means. I like Freya. Uh. Lua. Nice. I, hmm, okay. And Bailey's. Number one pumpkin spice fan. Oh, I cannot wait for October to come back around. Thank you very much. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? I think... What is this? Oh, so if we miss something, we can always pull this up. And... I think... Auto dialogue? Skip dialogue. Red. All. No. Okay. Can we just save the game? And resume. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. A nice visual novel. We haven't done one of these. You know that those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask traders here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. <laughs> I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's a good... one good lesson to learn for the day. Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot.
That won't give us a chance at all. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. Oh, she's sad. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same? <laughs> I just eavesdrop on them until they feel awkward and leave. Yeah, that's how I deal with them. <laughs> More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand, e I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What do they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I wanna know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. And about how if you outlive me. No other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Ah. That's exactly what they said. So this is it, then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know, our families will never agree. We can, we can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding a relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. And you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! Mm, alrighty. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. I'm sorry I stood there and listened to your problems. <laughs> That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. I hope so too. You have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes, I'll take one. All right, we're doing a green tea latte. It is green tea 
and milk and milk. Let's do some latte art. Can I even... How do I... How do I do those? How do I get a heart? Let's reset it. How do I do a heart? Uh, do I invert it? Would that be easier for me? This isn't like uh, a real cup, the physics. Because it's not that hard to actually do a heart. Or a leaf, of that matter. I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit. You need to redo latte art? Yeah. Green tea latte. This is so good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, and mortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now, and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. See you around, too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're telling me, Freya. Um, so we are close friends only? Okay. I guess that's a relationship change. Alright. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the de after the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart.
September 23rd. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Start the day. Should be start the night, but whatever. Is that Freya? Yes, it is. Good evening. Good gracious. What is wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? Fire instead of ice. I see what they did there. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive, impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me, what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Are you for real? Yes! What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. That's like a breach of the customer's personal lives, you know? Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level Lucy base. <laughs> the old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> what? Just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories I'll have. Good evening, y'all. It's J Jory? Araji? No. Jor Georgie. 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 Okay. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. Let's check out Georgie. Who's Gala? We haven't met Gala yet. And please, Tradus, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. Yeah, Georgie? Yeah. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea, I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomo... Tomo... Tom, Tomodachi... Tom... Tomo... Tomato Chill? Tomato Chill? Tomato Chill? Tomato Chill. Profile. Tomato Chill Profile. Everyone knows that you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. It's supposed to be like... I guess you can't say Facebook, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. I can shuffle the music. This one's got some static on it. Actually, is all the... I think we 
got an audio problem. Could be a memory leak. I'm gonna go to the main menu. I'm gonna shut down the game, bring it back up. Or it could just be part of that day, maybe? It's called Lo-Fi. It's a new hip now. <laughs> See, it's working perfectly there. Maybe it's just... I think it's just the day, that this particular chapter, maybe. We'll go with it for now. So what is he wanting? He wants... So nothing with milk in it. And he wants it sweet. So is it dark chocolate? Hold up. Let's check, uh... I'm out of tea. Coffee with a hint of sweetness. He wants coffee for sure. How do I make it sweet? So I'm, I'm making something here. Coffee, coffee, honey. Honey coffee. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask? <laughs> you never know. Espresso, of course. The one and only espresso. It's coffee, 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 right? What was that up uh, on our phone here? Oh, okay. We're close friends now, I guess. Starless night sky for the green haired fairy. <laughs> I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. You love my coffee. This is perfect. So how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possible life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Care to share the details properly? You tell them. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. 
And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job, at least not yet. Her life will pre uh, be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Trada said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. <laughs> hey! You do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. <laughs> Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or, better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that like you do <laughs> other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Hey, Legacy! Do you have any, any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Walked in on big balls? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. What it, will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. <laughs> you're letting her do that? There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Love streams, uh, anything can happen. Yeah, right? Please don't write about any shady-looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a good comedic character. <laughs> Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me, eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Earlier, we're putting poop on a customer's PC and they paid us for doing it. That's right. Earlier, we were doing PC Builder Simulator. Hey, uh, what do you have against me tonight? Traders is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. Uh, yeah, they, they in the PC building thing, they, they, pay, they wanted emojis on their case. So we put some poop emojis on it. <laughs> Got 120 bucks for it. <laughs> anyway. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. And it was huge. Yeah, it was. It was huge. And I'll dramatize most things I've heard, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the, the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I've helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on! Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker? The one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him? Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. 
Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Oh, tell me, tell me. Lately, the girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she's has bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep fast. <laughs> Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, hey, cheer up, girl. Uh, sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's the, this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her coworkers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Bring some of my coffee here. I think I need to get back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're just the best, Tratus. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. I like this. I like this a lot. Hmm. That should do for the experiment. And someone is coming. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Or is it Gala? Probably Gala. Gala? We'll go with Gala. So what do I, what do I know about Gala? So looks like Freya and I are... My self-summary. Journalist and short story writer, you can read my surreal and weird short stories at the Evening Whispers, idolize and aspire to be someone like Gil Naiman or Maruki Haruko Kamai. I don't know. Her close friends. So Gala, all right. Born and raised in Seattle, a, lo a lactose intolerant cop. We'll draw and design for food and shelter. Okay. Hi, Tratus. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. This is the place you recommended? You don't like it? It's fine. 
I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. I think we might have something for that. Coffee and ginger. Looks like we're going to have to just make one. Coffee, coffee, ginger? Oops. Okay, so I learned something, I think. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? Would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Here's your order. Good choice. Anyways, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe this was a bar back then? When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, mister. Hyde. My name is Hyde. Nice. From what I gathered, you're from LA, LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the priest treaty between werewolves and vampires... So... Gala must be a werewolf. Was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? <laughs> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some race's standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Ah, uh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? Nothing. I was just wondering, will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Is he at work? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? 
No one is sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? A mission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Eh, to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order through that Blood Marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlast? Uh-huh. Bloodlast get their supply from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals in the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really, I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. A vegan vampire, yes. Excuse me for asking. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically, some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood has some cultural and health concerns, does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If mixed with other ingredients? Why? You want to start selling blood-based drinks? It might attract new customers. Just saying. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try exper experimenting with blood chino, yeah, other things. Other things. Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. <laughs> Welcome back, Heroic. You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful method to restrain yourself? Hey, son. How are you? It's been a while. Hopefully you're doing good. Not yet. But I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the Fury sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, that sedative is too general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find. So Gala is a werewolf, and uh, Hyde is a vampire for those that are And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need, to be honest. At least your common method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM? <laughs> 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 
let that one sink in there for a second. <laughs> that only happens in porn. Oh, it's that kind of game. <laughs> Whips, chains, and leather. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's a moonrise right there. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> Uh, safe, sane, and consensual. <laughs> Rise is something, all right. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna need some more coffee <laughs> on the next uh, on the next day here. <laughs> this got interesting. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching that kind of thing, you know. Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty calming. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So continuing with your story, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know is it involves ginger and probably something lightly ca caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. I can make you a tea and ginger. You better write that down. You won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today. Oh boy. But the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. Yeah, you would you would see me blushing, all right. I think I'll go back now, as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit this coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Alright, let's check out... So we... Gala... Hyde... Hyde is a supermodel. Okay. Vegan vampire. Take care on your way home. All right, Freya's back. Hey, are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys. Kind of reminds me of this video I saw online. Oh boy. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. <laughs> it's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely, unlikely circumstances. More. <laughs> oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh, never mind. You. <laughs> I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it was a pretty interesting and productive night, but I, now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Ginger Latte, warm energy boost, perfect for a cold evening. So, we're gonna get this going, and then I'm gonna go top off my coffee because we're at the bottom, and I'm gonna come right back, not even more than two minutes. Thursday, September 24th.
Okay. Try putting some ginger in it. <laughs> Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Blogging is now part of a curriculum at some private high schools and stop workplace racial profiling. The Orkish Workers Union demands. And do some latte art. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, I'm just going to mute my mic and I'm just going to uh, step away, pop off my coffee and come right back. 